Hi Kingsland Kids, welcome back to another video, so glad you're joining me and you're sticking with me throughout this week that Jesus has in Jerusalem. We're on to day five now and this is a huge day for Jesus. It's a huge day for us and in the context of everything we believe, it's a massive day for Jesus and I'm going to tell you why in just a second. But I want to just quickly look back at the things that we've talked about. So we've talked about Palm Sunday, we talked about Jesus turning t um, tables in the temple, which was a lot of fun. And I really enjoyed that. We've had some stories from Jesus, stuff about parables. We've had uh, Spy Wednesday. That was an interesting one as well. Didn't know that's what it was called. And now we have Maundy Thursday. So it's, it's a huge day because according to the tradition, it is the day that Jesus kind of has his last meal on earth with his friends. He has the last supper. You've probably heard about it. I'm going to read to you just now a passage from the book of Mark. It's one of the Gospels, and I want you just to listen, think about it, and then we're going to go on from there. I'm going to explain a few things, okay? So I'm going to be reading from a Bible from Mark 14, from verse, uh, we're going to go from verse 22, and then we're going to go all, all the way through to 26, so a bit shorter than the last few that we've had. So bear with me, verse 22, while they were eating... Jesus took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to the disciples, saying, Take it, this is my body. Then he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, and they all drank from it. This is my blood of the covenant which is poured out for many, he said to them. Truly I tell you, I will not drink again of the fruit of the vine until the day when I drink it in the new kingdom of God. When they had sung a hymn, they went out to the Mount of Olives. So this is the story that we're going to be focusing on. This is part of what's called the Passover meal. Now, if you remember back to Sunday school a little while ago, you've probably done some stuff on a guy called Moses. Now, Moses was one of the first kind of big characters that we have in the Bible, especially when it comes to the nation of Israel, all of the Israelites. You remember some of the stories about those guys? So Moses helped all of the Israelites out of Egypt where they were in slavery. And one of the things they did right at the very end was they had this thing called a Passover meal, which basically saved them from having a lot of people die. And what they had to do is they had to get blood from a lamb that they'd killed so they could eat the lamb. And they took the blood from that lamb and they put it over the door frame of their house, which basically meant that this, this curse that was going to happen on the land didn't happen on their household. And so they always remember for the next hundred thousand generations, they remember that moment where using the blood of a lamb was going to protect them. And every year they had a festival which talked to, about what happened in, in Egypt, what Moses did, and how they all escaped as a nation. And it was really important, and it's still really important today, especially in Jewish culture and Israeli culture, because it's such a big deal. And so it was a really big deal for Jesus as well, because he was a Jew. And so every year they would have this meal. And at this meal, Jesus does something different to what they did. So they would always remember the blood that went over, and they would have this, this bread. So in the traditional story of Moses, they didn't even have time to let their bread rise. So they would share these flat, bitter loaves of bread, because they just didn't have time to make it taste good. And then they would go have some wine and leave. So, in the Passover, there are two things that are really important that Jesus references in this passage. And they are bread and wine. Now, the bread and wine are really important because they... I'm going to put them back now, otherwise I'll just eat the bread. So, the bread and wine are really important within the whole Passover tradition because it's the whole bread, we couldn't let it rise, we didn't have time, and the wine representing the blood that was around the door frame. When Jesus comes and he says, I'll read it to you again, he says, take it, this is my body about the bread. He's saying this bread is going to replace everything that's happened before. He knows that his body is about to be broken, that he is about to die, and he says, remember me because of my, because of my death. And he also talks about the wine as well, and he calls it a new covenant. Now, I want you to stop the video very quickly if you've got time. Ask your parents if they know what a covenant is. It's a big word. 
and then I'm gonna give the answer in five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so a covenant is a promise. So you've probably done, if you're an adventurer, you've probably done with Paul a lot of stuff about God promises, and there are a lot of amazing ones. This is the big, ultimate promise that Jesus says. And his promise is that his blood, when he dies, is going to protect us. So you remember in the Passover story, the blood of the lamb protected the Israelites when they put the blood on the doorframe. Instead, the blood of Jesus protects us. This is a huge moment for us because we can kind of begin to understand that Jesus is this amazing sacrifice for us. He is God. But God isn't so big just to ignore us when we do things wrong. He sends his son Jesus to come be a sacrifice for us so that we can know who God is. And I just think that's amazing. Jesus is showing his disciples through this Passover meal that there's going to be a new way of living. That his body, which is broken, and his blood, which is spilt, are going to be the foundation of a new promise. And that promise is that if you believe in Jesus, if you accept his death and his resurrection, if you know that Jesus died for you, which he did, if you believe in it, if you thank him for it, and if you try and live your life as though you're going to be as good as you can for God, listen to him when you can. You know, at the end of all things, we'll be with God. That's the new promise. So what I want you to do this afternoon, this evening, whenever you're watching this, what I want you to do is I want you to think about whether you're living your life in this way. Are you living your life for God? Because maybe you do believe that Jesus died and came back to life for you, which is great. Maybe you don't, maybe you're not sure. That's fine. But are you living your life in a good way? Jesus' sacrifice is enormous. He takes on every bad thing we've ever done. And he goes and he dies on the cross for us. We'll talk about that in the next video. That's going to be the Good Friday video. But on Maundy Thursday, he tells us about what's coming. He gives us the promise. And we can hang on to that. Bless you guys. Be nice to your parents. And I'll see you again soon.